They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make King Harold, King's Club Casino. King's Club Roulette today. Not gonna talk uh, about Baccarat today. Not gonna talk about craps today. But I will say that uh, we have <clears throat> solid methodologies for Baccarat and very solid methodologies for craps. There were some craps questions <clears throat> that I'm gonna be answering that were uh, submitted and uh, we are gonna be providing some direction there because if you wanna play craps, there's definitely ways that you can leverage it. I'm gonna show a low roller thing today. This is low roller, $500 buy-in, $575 goal. You can play it on inner block. You can play it anywhere you wanna play it. You can play it on brick and mortar. You can play it however you wanna play it. You play it and you uh, get after it. But uh, a lot of the things, uh, oops, let's get that out of there. Oh, oh, hold on. I forgot we need, hold on, we need to restart it from yesterday. Okay. Okay, so we're good? Yeah. All right, so um, I'm going to take a couple of spins. I'm going to begin uh, after five fresh spins. We've got two black 28s up there and a black 15. <clears throat> and we'll show some things here on a low roller. We got four straight blacks, so we aren't going to play like this. Um, we're not. We're not going to come in this. We we get to pick when we come in, and we're not coming in on five straight blacks. Or to, six or five. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, this should be red. Of course, it should be red. Uh, we all know that, but um, it doesn't mean it's going to be red. Obviously, we would have won the very first spin because we'd have played red, and yep, we'd have won. But uh, let's get a little a little uh, better distribution of of uh, colors here and uh, and we'll jump in here on the low roller okay so looking back we're gonna <clears throat> we got five bets here we got a the most recent is a red, then a black, then a black, then a black, then a red. So let's start with the red 23. <clears throat> and let's bet uh, um, $10 on black opposite the red 23. And uh, let's play $1. This is a little roller. $1 on the split zeros. And you're going to see, I'm going to continue this, this, this sequence of, uh, of sessions expanding into other ways that we're going to do this. This is the first step. This is toe in the water on how we play based on the last five spins that, that everybody can watch. This is done extemporaneously, unrehearsed, of course. That's the way we always do it. It's going to be what it's going to be. So now we've got a black four, and we, we are going to... Uh, to, to double our bet on red this time because of the black four. So, whoops. And we go to $2 up here and we're playing red because of the black four. Zero nets us a $14 win so we are in we are in quote unquote session profit. So now I move to the black thirty five and I play the one dollar the base unit bet and the ten dollars on red for the black thirty five. And since we're not Dellum bearing, this is the Martingale uh, thing today. I'm going to show you the Dellum bear though. It's not it's not gone. We're going to play a repeat bet for the black 13. <coughs> and now we're going to stay on black for the red 21. Oops. Well, you need to get the bet down. So we've got... Let's just let's just count back five and forget the zero. We're at eighteen, so we're at session profit ten, one dollar. So we'll play ten dollars on black for the red eighteen, and we'll put one dollar on the split zero. 
playing against the red 18 right now. We're going to skip the zero, go to the, the, the red 27, and we're going to play up one level of, of Martingale. This is against the 27. Looking for a black number. Now we go to a red number for 40. And now we go to a black number for 80. Whoops. Now this is the easy one to do. <clears throat> the black wind puts us back at four dollars, so we minus four. Minus four, but we're we're not going to we're not going to martingale to one sixty over the four dollars, right, Angel? No. We're going to reset to the ten, and that was a black number that defeated the. Okay, so we still are at twelve. We're at red twelve, so we're going to go to a ten dollar bet on black. And we still have another red number, so we can just reset and double. Because we, we got a string of three red numbers. And now we can reset to the $10 bet. But we're still on black because of the red 18. And the, the black 24 gives us a $10 bet on red. So now we go to a black bet for 20. Off of the red 19. And then we go to a red bet for 10. Whoops. And this is off of the black 10. A positive 26. We're going to repeat that, uh, skip the zero, and we're going to repeat that against the black 35. So we're going to repeat it against the black 13 now. And now we've got a black bet of $10 and $1. This is against the red one. Skipping to zero, we're gonna repeat the bet and double it against the red 30. And now we have a red 36 gives us a $10 bet back at the, uh, the base level bet. Against the red 36.
And now we go to red for $20 against the black 31. That gives us a $40 bet on black against the 14. And an $80 bet on red against the black 20. And we would have a black bet, <clears throat> we're at 44. We would have a black bet of $10 against the red one. And we're gonna repeat that against the red 12. So we're at 62. We're gonna to go to a $10 bet on the red against the black 24, so that you see exactly where we are. So we still got another red bet here. We're at $71, we need to get $4 more. So we're gonna go ahead and make that repeat bet against the black 15. Okay, so there's, there's the profit of $80. You did see, we, we got to the $80 range twice. That's 10, 20, 40, 80, means we won on the fourth bet. Means twice during this session, we lost three consecutive bets. That's the worst we ever did. And that's, that's pretty good, trying to uh, defeat the replication of, can the wheel replicate the last five spins exactly right? Took some chances playing around the zero, double zero. If I'm there with my money on the table, I'm gonna back out and restart when a zero hits. I'm not gonna just gonna jump it, but I wanted to show you that it, it, you can still do it just the way we were. We were at low, we were at low uh, money we we're playing, low roller. We made it. I'm gonna have Angel reset this. We're gonna do this one a different way now. Playing the same game, but we're not gonna play Martingale. We're gonna play D'Alembert. <coughs> and gives this our shot of doing the same thing with uh, the uh, replication model. So let me put a couple of spins in here just to sweeten the pot a little bit. So we're going to do low roller the same the same uh, five hundred dollars going for five hundred and seventy five. So we're going to play twenty dollars as our beginning bet. We're going to play five dollar units up three down two. Doug the real trucker asked some questions about this doing it this way, so I wanted to to uh, make a demonstration of it again extemporaneously the way we always do it. So we're going to be seeing, can it replicate black, red, red, black, red? That's what we have there as five, as five spins. We're gonna start with $20, and we're gonna start against the black 15. And so we're gonna put $2 on the split zeros. Play this inner block, play it any way you want. And we're going against the black 15, so we got $20 there. We're going for $75. This is Dell and Bear, $5 units, up three, down two. Here we go. So up three would be $35. Against the 30 is a, a bet of $35. And I round up, when I got this, I, I round up the uh, split zero. We'll go to four. 
So we're at $35 up three units and we're on black against the red 30. So we're going to $50, repeat, and we're going to $50 on our Dell and Bear scale. From the 50, we are, we are, uh, we're going to go down two units to $10, and we're going against the two now. So we're going to go to a $40 bet on red, and we're going to put $4 on a split zeros, 10% or thereabouts, and uh, we're going against the black two now. Down two units to 40. So we got to go to 55. We got to go to $55 on black against the red 25. We got to go to the seventy dollars on red. And we're going against the black six with the red bed. So now we're going to go to $60, down two units, with a black bet against the 16. Let's put the six there. And we'll go to $60 on black against the red 16. Now we would go to $50 on red. And we gotta go to $50 on red against the black six. And we gotta go to 65 on red against the, the 15. Okay, so we're gonna go to black and that was a $58 win. So we're gonna to have to go to black <clears throat> with a $45 bet. Well, I could just go ahead and do it for a nickel. This is against the red five. Dell and Bear down to 45. So we go to 60, red. Against the black 13. against the 33 with a $75 bet. And we 
go to a $65 bet. A seven there. This is a $65 bet. It's going to be on red against the black 17. And the black 17 hits. So we're going to go to 80 on red. Nope, we gotta go against we gotta go against the red nine with eighty dollars. And then that's against the red nine. Eighty dollars on black. And we go to 95. Against the red 12. Against the red 12, $95 bet. So that's going to take us to $85 in on a red bet. Against the black 10. Puts us on a $75 bet. On black against the red 32. And that puts us on a $65 bet on red against the black 17. Sixty-five on red. Now we're gonna to go to black for $55. I'll go ahead and put six there. $55 on black. This is against the red seven. Trying to keep it from replicating. We'll go to red for $70. I'll go ahead and do it. Going up 15. Red against the black 28. We're gonna to go to $85 on black. Oops. This against the 12, $85 bet. We're gonna hit the $100 mark here on a red bet. Against the black 24. Getting killed. Okay. Yeah. So we got a $90 bet. Um, 
to go black against the, the red 23. I didn't think that the D'Alembert was, was going to work very well here, but I wanted to do it because uh, I, I had conversation with Doug the Real Trucker about giving it a shot. Uh, this is These kinds of bets are better done in um, Martingale because when you win, you get it all. The, uh, the D'Alembert, you play it back and forth, back and forth, and you're going to need to hit you're going to need to hit your share. I knew this, but I wanted to try it to give it a shot. So here it is, and we're going to write it out because it's, it's good to instructive, but I wouldn't play D'Alembert in this, this thing. So that's going to put us at 105 on red. 105. No, it's going to put us at 105 on black against the red 19. And I may be close to busting the bankroll, Angel. We'll, set, we'll check it and see. I'm about a dollar too high on the zero. Check the bankroll. Okay, so we've only got uh, $77 we can bet here. This, this did turn out like I expected it to turn out. It almost isn't even worth making another bet at it, at it but uh, we'll go ahead and just do it with uh, um, 60 against, no, we're going to go red. We're going to go against the red eight. 70, I think, uh, well, that's close enough. That's probably what we have. Now we got to go to 77. Okay. That's the full bankroll right there. 77 on the red number. But it's not going to come back from here and not going D'Alembert anyway. Okay, good. Um, the D'Alembert does not work in this, this instance, and there's a couple of reasons why. One of it is that you need to recover your entire bet, and that's why I had it at Martingale at the beginning, because you're going to win. If you win every three or four times, which is why this was set up this way, it was set up to be a winner if all you had to do was win every three or four spins, if you're going to play Delambert, you got to win more often than that. And that's why usually we, we play Delambert when we have 26 numbers against 12. Well, you were also trying to do a system where you're going to go in and get out quickly. Yeah, and you don't do it this way. This is a, yeah. the way I just did right. There was a grinder. Yeah. Also, if you're going to play Delambert, you don't want to play at $5 units because your units are very, very closely. There's no space between them. And so after you win, you drop down not very far. And so if you lose, you immediately canceled your win. There's lots of, lots of reasons that D'Alembert does not work in this kind of case, but I did want to try it because you don't know anything until you really give it a shot. I actually don't think that D'Alembert would ever win. Well, it might win at $20 units and start at 60 and, and go down to 20 after a win uh, because you make a dramatic drop after your win. But uh, in, in any event, this is a Martingale game. It's designed at, to say that you can't lose five in a row because it's not going to replicate the five. Now, I'm certain that there is somewhere out there that we're going to come across it, and you guys probably have already seen it, that maybe it does replicate it. But if I, if I did, um, if I reset like right now, let's say we went down all nine and just said, okay, so I'm gonna play $10 on black to go against the red 23. So I got a red 23, I got $10 on black. And I get a red. So we've got a red 19 there. So we rebet and we double it on black against the red 19. And this is where Delambert would have failed. Here, we're ahead of bet right now. And you're going to do this, well, I'll go and I'll play $10 on red against the black eight. And that's a win. Now, yeah, if you're going down bear, you're going to go down. You're going to protect your money here. I don't like the way this is set up here where it's got four straight reds. 
I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. I ordinarily wouldn't want to play against four straight reds, but we're going to play against it. So there's $10 against the first red with a black bet. And there's a loss. So we'll go against 32 now with a $20 bet. And there's recovered. And we're up $23. And we could go back and play, continue and just say, okay, I'm gonna fight this thing out against the, this string of reds with a $10 black bet. And just say it can't replicate it. So there's the $10 black bet and there's the win. So we're up $32. We have another black bet to go so because we have all those strings of reds. So we rebet one more time on black again. Just saying, can't replicate it. Okay, let's see. And it couldn't. There it is. This is the, this is the genuine thing that I discovered when I was coming through this thing the first time. And I'm not saying that somebody else hasn't done this. Usually somebody's always done something else. I hadn't seen it before, but uh, you guys have seen just about everything out there. So I almost advocate doing it at strings of nine numbers off of the numbers that are on the tower and and doing it martingale definitely and not d'Alembert uh, because you can see we're martingaled here we're 41 dollars in after just seven spins and so the martingale is going to work it's it's the the, the, the wheel is not going to replicate itself with five random numbers that repeat the random of the first five or in this case the nine um at least not over not over time within the first second third the fourth spin, you're gonna get your win. And with the Martingale, when you get the win, you're ahead. If you lose three straight at D'Alembert and you get the win, you're gonna need another win, you're gonna need it right now. You can get that when you've got 26 numbers against 12. In this case, we're 20 against 18. It's asking a lot to have a long streak of victories. What you wanna hear is you wanna capitalize on the one victory. What system capitalizes on the one victory? Martingale. Now it does not capitalize on it if you are trying to run it into infinitum. It capitalizes on it when you're trying to get to 15% and leave. We're at 15% every time. Now I do have an expansion of this that I'm gonna show you tomorrow. And I'm gonna give you a sneak peek preview of it right now. And this is the go in with the with the three thousand dollars and and trying to make thirty five hundred keep in mind that's what it is if you count down five you got a red black 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 red this is your sneak preview okay so if i looked up there and i said i'm going to play black but i want to play columns i want to play columns right so here's what i would do i would play a hundred dollars I want to play black now, so I'd play $100 on columns one and two. I'll tell you why in a minute. I'll add $10 to it because I'm going to put $10 on the split zeros. The reason I played columns one and two is those are the columns that have the most black numbers in them. There's another uh, feature of this that I will show you as we go along. This is a, a series of shows dealing with playing the Martingale against the colors. This looks like columns, but it's not. This is really where we're playing the majority of the black. And I can show you why by right now. When I go to that third column, which has the least black numbers, four, and I put $10 on each four, each black number, this is a sneak peek for tomorrow. This is where I'm going to take you tomorrow. This doesn't look like a bed of colors at first, but if you look at it harder, you're going to see it is. We've got every black number covered, but because we played the columns, we've got... 10 red numbers added. We're missing eight red numbers. We have 30 numbers. We have all 18 of the blacks. We have 10 of the reds because they comprise part of the complement of columns one and two. And we have the split zeros. So there's a way that I can do this with streets too, but this is still a color bet. This is just one spin. And there is your example. What did we hit? We hit the black number that's in the column that we did not play. But because we played it at the $10 level, 
We made significant profit, $70. And we have a black number now, so I could do the same thing again, except we would do it with red this time. So I would play $110 on the two columns that comprise the most red numbers. Now we have four red numbers in the middle column. I would put 10, 10, 10, and 10, just like that. The same way we got 30 numbers, we're missing those eight, red, uh, eight black numbers in the middle. The eight black numbers in the middle can beat us. No other number can beat us. And what I'm betting on is those eight numbers that are missing, since they're random and since they go back and forth, we don't stay on it like you do with Romanowski. You don't sit on 30 numbers like on Romanowski. This is being moved. This is introducing random to it. It still is a color bet. It's red's turn. We're playing against the black 28. We've added in the other numbers. So we do have, uh, we do have black numbers in columns one and three. We're missing the black numbers from column two. And there's the spin. Eight numbers can beat us, 30 will win. You know right away it's a winner because it's a red number, but look at where that number was. It was in the middle column. We're up 221. I wanted to give you the sneak preview of this. And so you could think about, I'm moving us from playing just the color and the split zero to a more complex, which is what I promised you yesterday. It was going to increase in complexity. But as it increases in complexity, it also increases in winnings because you can hit that off column, the column you don't have, and you can still win. We just did it twice. We also just won twice. So this is, this is I want you to practice this. You can play this on inner block. You can play it on, the, on the, the, the analog wheel. You can play it anywhere you want. But when you are, are going to play on the analog wheel, you do face that situation with the minimum bet to, for the split zeros. And so I'll give you a quick look at how I, how I beat that. There's a way that we beat that too. So if we are, okay, so we play red again, right? So let me see if that'll take those off. Okay, so now we've got nothing covered in the middle column, but yet we are playing red because we're going against the black 26. But how about if you look at the street that has the red numbers on it? Here, 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 and here. Now this doesn't pay 35 to one, it pays 11 to one. And so you've got to do a little bit more to it uh, than this and, and we will arrive at the number like, uh, maybe you play 20, I'm not sure, or, or, maybe, or, or, or what, how we play it. But you guys out there, will, will, you, you'll do the actuarial way of the math. But now we still have it, we have our, our numbers, we are playing red, and now we cover every red and we've added some other numbers to it. The payoff will be less, but let's see what the win comes out to, because I think we're gonna win. So we only won $20, but if you look at it, we had everything covered. From the standpoint of we've got everything covered on uh, columns one and three, and we also have streets covering the other four red numbers. Now, we didn't hit it there, but if you look, there are two, four, six, eight jackpot numbers. Four, six, 13, 15, 22, 24, and 31, 33 would have been huge winnings. So we only won 20 on the basic bet, but we won again. We spun three times, we won all three because we do have high coverage. If you look at what, what don't we have? What numbers do we not have? We don't have the black 29, the black 26, the black 35. We don't have the black, the black 20, the black 17, black 11, eight and two, those eight numbers. But we've got cover-ups in jackpot numbers on the 33 and the 31, they just don't play straight up for the column. Well, uh oh, it took off spinning on me and we're on the wrong side of it. But anyway, that's what we got. Um, so there, there, there's a negative because of not hitting the column, but hitting the, uh, the street. But 
We'll figure out the betting pattern to make on this. It still is a color bet. It's a bet that you win every time, just like we've spun six times now we won every time. Uh, and it's also a you make your money and get out. We want to get our 15% and we want to go. And we want to do it every day. So that's the sneak peek for tomorrow that you've seen it. I'm going to tweak the, the betting mounts and numbers. I'm going to tweak how we go things because that's what we continue to do all the time. And we have introduced to you this color way of playing based on not being able to replicate the last five or even the last nine. I think we can go down to nine and just put it up there and say, we're going to bet black, red, 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 black, red, black, black, black. And we're going to do it Martingale and it's not going to be able to stop us. And I don't think it's going to be able to. At Bear, it can because you're going to have to win two or three in a row at one time. And that's kind of hard to do. But you could do it when you're playing this many numbers against see, this, this many numbers. We've got, uh, we've got 30 numbers against eight. We don't have 20 against 18. So you can Bear when you're at that kind of numbers. So I know there's a lot Martin, to think. Yeah. Huh? Martin, yeah, you mean not Bear? No, you can Bear it too. Oh. I'm saying if you wanted to Bear this, you could. Oh, okay. But I prefer to Martingale it because I think it's going to win within oh. three spins. And I want to get my winning amount going. I want to get my winning amount done three, four, five times at the most, win five times, and I've got my money. And that's what I want you guys to do too. So I know there's a lot to think about. I appreciate you guys. Angel and I both appreciate you guys for what you put into this and for your comments and thoughts that we can share and try to build together. I, uh, I appreciate every last comment that comes in because I know it comes from the, the heart of this is what you're thinking about. And we need, to, we need to be able to go back and forth on things to where we arrive at a place that's going to be good for all of us. So for today, this new introduction of ways to play colors, new introductions of ways to make money. For the angel, the king, bids you adieu.